the people's minds to accept our solution to the world's problems. The energy crisis here in the United States was exceptionally successful worldwide, and we expect similar success with our upcoming food shortage. Our labor leaders have made great progress by causing confusion and work stoppages in all areas of the world. Financially, the dollar is being devalued even faster than we could have hoped. Politically, the public has lost total confidence in any form of government. The threat of universal war is a daily possibility. As you know, we ourselves do not need to hold any visible office of leadership. As a matter of fact, it's better that we do not. We control the finances, news media, food, transportation, energy. We control everything. It is important that you, as world leaders, keep our program before your countrymen. With our World Bank and computer program operational, we now have the capacity to control the financial affairs of every human being on Earth giving each person his own computer number. Anytime his number is used, we would know his financial situation at once. He could not buy or sell anything without his computer number. It will simplify their lifestyles tremendously. The end result will be a one-world monetary and government system that we alone will control. Yes. What about the people who forget their number, or their cards are lost or stolen? We've made provisions for that. By using this laser imprinter, we can painlessly and permanently affix the person's number to the back of his hand or his forehead if he so desires. The numbers would be easily read by this new ultraviolet scanning equipment. For the purposes of demonstration, I've had such a number imprinted on myself. Once this number is imprinted, it cannot be lost nor can it be changed. Now, are there any questions? What about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance. In the reflection, she seems to take a look toward the man in the video, but her actual body seems to remain completely still. Kids at Home, this next segment is for you. This Friday, the newest batch of Disney Channel stars grown in the Disney Genetic Engineering Lab will be unveiled to the public. Right. Now, Tracy, most of our viewers are already familiar with a lot of the products that have come out of the Disney I Lab. I yes. But how exactly do you create a Hillary Duff or a Miley Cyrus?
from scratch. Right. Well, we're going to find out exactly how it's done right now because joining us live from the Disney Lab is uh, one of their lead geneticists, Dr. Andrew Rourke. Welcome, Dr. Rourke. There's quite an operation you've got going on out well, there. Well, thanks, Jim. So the stars that we see on TV are actually grown right here? Uh, that's correct. They're, they're grown and uh, developed here. We engineer their brains for advanced singing and dancing capabilities, even posing for photos. By the time they grow to desired size, uh, these child stars are fully ready for the camera or the, the concert uh, tours or whatever Disney chooses to put them in. That is simply amazing. <laughs> now, how long does it take to actually create a star from scratch? Well, not very long at all.